Let's talk about what we've learned so far. And by the way, we've learned it the hard way. We, you know, we've run into walls and got our nose bloodied just on, on logical moves that we think should work, but don't for whatever, whatever reason or where we've gotten it wrong. So a good place to start, frankly, is how we measure the health. Now, you measure the health of pay TV typically by churn. Churn is the overriding um, indicator of health, right? It's like taking your temperature in the morning, your blood pressure in the afternoon. Churn is how the uh, traditional pay TV has been measured. And what we found is that if you offer, um, if you have no contracts and no commitments, well, churn's probably not a great measure, right? You say, there's no contracts. You can come and go as you like. So just as a, a quick refresher course, churn's a pretty simple concept, right? And the fewer people that leave your service, right, the better off you are. Look, we made it incredibly easy for people to come and go. And you know what happens when you do that? They do. They come and they go. <laughs> No big surprise there, but it was kind of a surprise, right? We went, we were like walking backwards into the future going, well, we're going to fix all these problems, but oh my God, there they go, right? And so we've just got, we're just getting out of that idea where, hey, we got a customer, yay, right? Oh, we lost a customer. Wow, that's, that's, that's awful. That's called churn, right? And we're going now, where we're headed now is to actually embrace that sort of behavior, so, traditionally the biggest drivers of people leaving pay TV were cost and the seasonal nature of programming, right? So, do these things still hold true? Absolutely. And you know what we find? The volatility is even greater, right? Football season's over, you see greater volatility on the, at the beginning of football, you see great, uh, com people coming in, greater volatility at the end of football with people leaving, right? Cost. Does that matter? 100%, right? So the short answer is yes. A lot of the same things apply to streaming, live streaming TV. Um, but there are other factors at play and factors that you may not think about immediately, right? You know, when you look at some of the early pressures around churn with, a new, comp uh, with new competitors, um, you look at platform stability. And I'll tell you, one of the most interesting things that we've come to respect about old pay TV is that it works. It just works, right? You think about going from the snowy 19-inch <laughs> screen, I can't believe we ever watched TV on that, and you know, uh, over the air, coming in and out, to you know, 30 years later, where you've just got this incremental, you know, over time, those, those improvements have been incremental and small, but we've all come to expect pretty good stability, right? And so streaming services, frankly, just being honest here, they have a ways to go.